Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, my name is Esther Mofri. So today is Wednesday and we are doing back testing. I wanted to tell you guys that the market can be either a reversal or continuation. That's what we have in the market. We can have a reversal market, you can have a continuation market, or you can have a consolidation market. So in this case, we want to backtest this market. There are so many things you can learn as you backtest. So pay attention and you will see, you will learn some things. There are so many things you will learn in the process. So let me ask you a question. Do you think that this market is a continuation? Like this market, the buyer, this is just a retracement, then it continues to sell? Or do you think that this market is a reversal? Do you think that this market wants to continue reversing like that? So the question is, is it a reversal or continuation? And how do you differentiate the two? So this is four hour and I can try to check on four hour and I can try to analyze on four hour. But if I remain on four hour, I'll start seeing market breaking zones. I'll start seeing my market being uh, breaking that uh, previous resistance. And this will start telling me that this market can be a reversal. And this is what happens. Every time film will tell you a different story. So on four hour, the story that I'm getting is relying on the reversal mostly. And the market can reverse aiming to come to this direction. So for me, if I remain on four hour, I might think, because if this was a retracement, the market didn't retrace here. Actually, the big momentum, you can, it, it is seen here. So for me, if I stay on four hour, I'm seeing a reversal. So only, the only thing that I can tell you guys to check is different time frames. When you're back testing, when you're doing live market, you can't rely on four hour. You can't rely on four hour. You always need higher time frame. So let's go to daily and try to see what we have on daily. So this is daily. It's not like we have a possible double bottom that has made the market go up. Even the double bottom that we have has not, has not been activated. So we don't have the double bottom activated. So even if we get this big move, movement on daily time frame, we don't know why that big movement is coming from. If you think it's because of this low, the market already broke. The market already broke here. You can see there's a breakage there. So we can't really say that this is a double bottom because already we have violation, which makes and invalidate that double bottom. So even on daily, still we don't have a clear way. What is this market doing? I tell my, my students every time I have classes with my students, that for me, I have mastered six patterns in the Forex trading. So when I open my chart, I'm ready to see those six patterns. I can see any one, only one, but I'm good to trade with one rather than having none. At the moment, even if I try to look for that one, even if it's one pattern, like I love trading double bottoms, double tops, failed double bottoms. So those are the patterns I even teach. But if I can't see any, now I get confused. Now, guys, you cannot analyze what you can't understand. And if at all on four hour, you didn't understand. Daily now, we don't even understand why the market is going up. Now the savior here, I think, is weekly. Let's go to weekly and see what's happening. So you can see on weekly, something different is happening because what I'm seeing, I can start interpreting the market. I can see buyers attempted there and we can see another buyers attempting there, making this first attempt, second attempt, and we might have a possible double bottom, guys. You can see now, when I flipped to higher time frame, already what I could not see on lower time frame, it is so visible for me. This movement, let me go to daily and I try to put it. This is what daily shows me. On daily, that double top is violated, and I think that's why I could not see it, on daily, but on four hour, there is no val val uh, violation. There is no violation. The market has really respected the two double bottom, the two double tops. So this is what we have on 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 weekly. We have a possible double top, a possible double top. 
actually this is just a double top because it has really gone down so we have a double top now because we have that double top we have this double top we want to mark our half so let me delete that we'll mark our half our neckline we don't need to mark our neckline because that is the neckline guys that is the neckline so this is the neckline of that double top and then we can even mark the half you can try to mark the half and you can see clearly once the half was broken that half is very important once half was broken the market is on the journey to touch the neckline so that is basically what we have now every time you now flip on on four hour imagine now knowing that this market is it has a double top the double top has broken half the green line and it is on the mission to go to neckline so what i need to see it's either the market breaking the neckline for me to continue selling or I can see the market now giving me another structure like a double bottom for me to think buying. I can't just buy without a pattern that one I've told you. So even if I go to daily, I will know that I have a double bottom, net half is broken and the market is approaching, um, it's approaching neckline. The minute you see the market broke half and never retested, that half should be retested. But in this case they never touched neckline first they said let us uh um retest and and pull back to the half and then maybe we come down so that is how i can analyze this chart the coming of the half you see the market is coming at the half is if it gets rejected it means that this market was ready to just do retracement and then go down so now we have something like that. Imagine now you understand what is happening. You already know. What should you do now? Because you know this is just a retracement. Even if on, on daily you are now waiting for a red candle. So that is a red candle for you guys. You're waiting for that rejection. That rejection is very, very big. That rejection is huge. So what I didn't tell you is that after now you go and you know that the market has the market has done what the market has uh, has has been into the half the minute you know the market has been in half this is what you do if you know this market has been into the half already you can know that they have tried to break a zone that is the zone i was telling you and i always teach this pattern like i this is my favorite pattern that i teach and i tell my student once a place is broken like this this channel you need to apply BWA. So guys, those who ask, oh, what is BWA? It's only taught in my mentorship students because I want my students first to get it, to test it so that we can tell you all how it is about. So BWA, you wait for the BWA. So if you wait for BWA, now you can know what to do after the market. Uh, you can know what to do after this ranging the good thing is that we don't have the mind to buy anymore because on the weekly what do we have on the weekly on the weekly we have a double top so actually our mind it is will wait until the neckline is broken because we don't want to keep selling the distance is too low the distance from where the market is to the neckline is just 98 pips so what we need to do in this case, we need to wait for the neckline to be broken. So let's wait for the neckline to be broken. And in this case, because the double tops is at weekly, you will wait with weekly candle. So we will wait until that double bottom is, uh, the neckline is broken. And you can see, once the neckline is broken, guys, once the neckline is broken, how do you target your take profit? you measure that distance from the first top to the third top uh, to the neckline and then you have how many tips you you will have two tps one at the half the other one at completion so basically this is what you do at double top so you know the market you are sure it broke 
the market broke. So on, on, all you need, if you flip to daily, if we flip to daily, we don't enter, we don't enter with green candle. Of course, we'll be waiting for red candle and we apply WBB strategy. So let's see what happens. We are not entering until we get a red candle. So we get our red candle like that. We get our red candle like that. And then this candle has engulfed. This candle has engulfed. So if this candle has engulfed and we want to get in, we want to get in and that candle has engulfed. So what we do, what we do, you can decide to place a sell here and this is a long-term sell. Why? Because the minute you enter sell here, your take profit is two, 300 pips. If you target all the way down, your take profit is 596. So if you start doing 200, 500, these are so many pips. So what I can do, because I can anticipate the market can come back to maybe retest this zone, the market can come back. It can come up, come back 305 pips. So what I can do, I can, I can wait, I can wait for, or I put a sell limit. For me, I would put a sell limit and then I enter sell so that I can target that market up to their down. So I can put the sell limit and then I target. Now guys, the thing is, if you're only looking at daily time frame, this is what you trade. But remember, the minute this red candle comes in, it's on Wednesday. So for me, what I do, if the market is on Wednesday, I want to see on weekly candle having the same anger for me to be having double confirmation. So this candle is on Wednesday, has engulfed. So on, on uh, Thursday, that's what I get, a green candle. On Friday, that's what I get. So basically, I will know that on weekly, there's nothing like that. Let's go to weekly and you'll see. On weekly, I still have a very green candle. I will just cancel the trade. Guys, that's how you exit some trades. The reason why we exited some trades is because this the red candle can be a fake breakout. And if at all you apply again, BWA here, my students know that this is not a trade to get involved at the moment. So for me, with what I know right now, I cannot even dare to sell. So I will wait, put all my sell orders to this half and wait patiently. So guys, I've told you, even if you have gotten a bearish engulf here, we were ready to sell. But what happened is that the last two days for the weekly candle to close, the market kept going up. If the, this market went down, if this candle was going down, trust me, on weekly, we'll have a red candle. We'll have a, like a bearish candle. So you have come out of that trade and I've come put my, uh, my orders around that zone because what am I anticipating? I'm anticipating a double top. So here, at least I'm sure rather than selling here. So here I, I will have a discounted price at how many pips? I'll have a discounted price at 200 pips. So I'll just cancel my trade with how many pips negative? With 93 pips negative. Canceling that trade, it's because in the weekly time frame we don't have um, a confirmation. That's why I tell people, make sure daily aligns, weekly aligns, four-hour aligns. So let's see what happened on Monday. So the market continued to buy on Monday, Tuesday. So what we are looking at, will the market approach our zone? So will we get that attempt? So the market comes in and attempt our zone. Now my eyes, everything is opened, guys. Remember my take profit one, and I have my take profit three. The one that is guaranteed is take profit one there after the neckline, this is guaranteed. The last one is not guaranteed. So now I have possible double top. I'll still do the same thing I do. I'll measure half so that I will monitor how will the price behave around this place? Will they break? If they don't break, I'll cancel that trade. And then I will get and I, I would want to know how will the price behave around this place? If they don't break again, I'll exit that trade. So we are waiting for entry. Still, you apply WBB. 
So we are waiting for red candle. You get a red candle, you put a box, and then you wait for the next red candle. And then the good thing, the candle breaks the box. So what you have now, you can now sell this market to take profit one. And you know, in, in the process, you are observing what the market will do at half and you're observing at what the market will do at the neckline. So that is what we have. Guys, let us see what happened if the market uh, gave us that money. So the market, as it was approaching the half, you can see clearly they broke and you can add another position. Now you are sure the market will drop. So let's see what happened at the neckline. So we are observing our neckline to see what really happened. Let's observe our neckline. And the neckline is for that small double bottom. Remember the main neckline is here. This is a small neckline. So as the market approach, we will try to see what happened. You see, I've told you, every time the market breaks the half, the market tends to come back and retest the half. So even if the market was coming all that way, and then what you did, you put a uh, sell orders here, it would have been activated. So let's continue and see what happened. So you can see the market is shying away from the neckline. The market doesn't want to break the neckline. And once the neckline is broken like that, surely the market will touch the P1. So you can see the market, the market almost, you can see almost touched TP1. Even if we allow this trade, you see, even if you were targeting all to TP3, all not TP3, one and TP, the last TP. If you are targeting to the last TP of that zone, this is what would have happened. Let's play quickly. So eventually it would have been hit. What I'm trying to tell you guys is that analyzing with one time frame, it's not easy. You have to go to four hour daily, weekly. And if you can't really understand, you go to monthly. If I flip to weekly, it was easy. The charts are clean. You can be able to see this is my double double top. This is the neckline. The neckline broke and then went, retested the half, and then the market dropped up to the end, and even the sale continued. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you have learned something. Don't rely on one time frame. That is the highlight of this video. Don't rely on one time frame. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Until next time, bye-bye. Love you.